Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, welcome to Bill Noir TV StarCraft 2 YouTube cast. Game number two between Jakshi and Solar on the way. As we introduce the players, here we have Jakshi spawning at the bottom right. And uh, his opponent, Solar, spawning in the top left. The map is going to be Foxtrot Labs. And this is game number two of a best of three taken from the go for sc2 monthly finals for the month of september now in game number one for those who have not seen it uh, jakchi took a quick game with a proxy two racks on overgrowth let's see how this game shapes up there are only two possible spawn combinations on this map and that's either this one or you can spawn diagonally one player over here in the top right the other one in the bottom left uh, one of the more prominent features of this map is the distance between the creep to the main ramp and the natural which is fairly wide exposed so it's difficult to wall off as a Terran player and uh, pretty wide open for the Zerg so you know Hellions, Marines, lots of uh, room to micro around another one is the destructible debris leading into your third base if you don't want to take this one as your third base which I would very much so recommend doing then you pretty much have to take your gold as your third and that's widely exposed if we take a look you can attack from this side to the bottom harass the mineral line uh, go away or you can uh, even attack from the top with siege tanks and stuff so it's pretty difficult to hold on into this and uh, I actually when I play Zerg I prefer taking this base and taking down the rocks they are however if you're playing a normal macro game going to be up there for quite some time so it may be a little bit difficult to uh, defend that third base versus early pressure now let's see what the openings are for these guys over here it looks like uh, it's going to be command center first for Jakchi looks like looks like it will the barracks yeah the barracks is too late for it to be a barracks opening so command center first gas barracks and his opponent has gone for a hatchery first and uh, a, a uh, gas and then a pool so the greediest of openings possible here for uh, Solar. He has scouted the expansion of his opponent, so he knows what kind of opening this is. No proxy racks is going down this time. Solar knows as much. Link speed on the way, and all drones uh, have been have been pulled from uh, the extractor to maximize mineral income. And he can try to go for a speedling attack at this natural and deny it from mining. First couple of speedlings uh, are out on the map. Uh, Jakchi's SCV is being chased away. What has he seen? He did see the gas and he did, no doubt, click on the gas. So he's going to know the timing. Factory going up. And the first Hellions should be coming out of that factory just as Link Speed is about to finish. So if, ja if uh, Solar wants to attack Jakchi at the natural, he's going to have a tough time doing that. Of course, this. Uh, big big space over here that you have to wall off as the Terran player kind of could warrant a baneling bust or a roach baneling uh, all in let's see if solar wants to go ahead and do that still only building drones and looks like he's going to try and take a third base so no two base all ins we could have a longer game this time around, still maintaining these speedlings at the Terran front door to scout. Metabolic boost is done. He does pick off oh, one Marine, gets a second one as well, and will. Oh, nice micro there. Gets an SCV for his troubles as well. And since the door is not closed, he's going to get a full scout of the main base. Double. Or two more barracks have gone down for Jakchi over here. Solar knows exactly what the production capabilities of his opponent are going to be. He sees that the reactors have been dropped down as well. Or at least I think he sees. Yes, he does. So he knows the marine count is not going to be rising too rapidly at first. And all he has to do, has to defend against, will be these Hellions. So he does take his liberty to throw down the double evolution chambers. And uh, 
He's continuing to mine gas. And he's probably going to drone up his third very quickly as well. There's the second gas going down for him as well. First two Hellions out on the map are going to do a little bit of scouting. Third CC coming down for, uh, for Jakji as he's getting uh, his upgrades from a single engineering base. So he's uh, going to play catch up in the upgrade wars as the 1-1 one -one for the Zerg player should be starting as soon as Solar gets that 150 gas for the first upgrade. Uh, there we go. 100 gas, excuse me. Uh, so the first two Hellions not doing much, but they did get did get a scout off onto the third base. And now Jakchi knows that the gold is not in play so far. He's going to try to harass that third once more. Getting that creep spread down there is of utmost importance because by the time you break these rocks down, a lot of time will have elapsed, so you want to have that creep there in order to get reinforcements there as fast as possible. Jakchi also scouting for the potential fourth gold base being taken quickly. No such thing happening, however. Creep is extending nicely here for uh, Solar. Banding Nest on the way, followed by Elair. So Solar playing a little bit more defensively. You could say he's playing the standard game, not trying to rush for a lair, not trying to rush for mutalisks or any of the sort. Plus one and Stim are lining up nicely for Jagchi on the on the other hand as well. And the best he can hope here for nice target fire on the creep tumor did get that down. He's going to get the second one as well. That was not cancelled, so out of potentially five creep tumors, only two will go down. Oh, three, excuse me. Oh, there, there's more of them. Okay, so those queens are not going to be stockpiling energy for potential transfuses against the Hellions. And there's a Spire going down for Solar, so he's transitioning nicely. Baning speed on the way as well, centrifugal hooks. Uh, now, what did Solar see with that Overlord? Let's take a look. He didn't see the third base floating over, I don't think. And he's got no further scouting information from the main base of the Terran player. And I think Jakshi should be moving out by now. He does have his important upgrades finished. Well, maybe he'll wait for the plus one armor and at least the combat shields because he needs those combat shields to face off against those banelings. And Solar actually, instead of expanding away from his opponent, he's expanding towards his opponent. So that fourth is going to be exposed a little bit more than usual. But he's going to have an easier time attacking if he wants to be aggressive. Uh, a little bit of trade going on here between these guys. Widowmine getting only one kill and getting taken out subsequently. A little run by will be attempted over here, but no third here. Uh-uh, I'm taking the gold, says Jagchi. And uh, that's going to be that's gonna be a point of contention or, uh, in this game. So far as... As long as uh, Solar can get his Mutalisks out and start harassing the Terran player, he's going to be in a pretty good shape because he will be able to keep the forces of Jagchi back home defending against the Mutalisks and not, not attacking his fourth base, taking the gases over there. Solar feeling pretty comfortable with that fourth base. And it's, going to st it's going to stay like this for a decent number of time now until the... I don't know, 16, 18 minute mark where the main is starting to run really dry, so you kind of want to take uh, an additional base. Ooh, very unlucky Widow Mine hits there against the Mutalisks. You don't want that to happen because right now those Mutas are not exactly battle capable with uh, those lower hit points. And Jakchi is uh, going to establish a nice forward staging location on the high ground for his units. He's going to dart uh, to the low grounds, try to take out some of the creep, not wanting to risk a full engagement uh, just yet. We can see as he's pulling back after killing a couple of units. Where are the scans? There we go. And now he needs to pull back. Nice attempted surround by Solar. Uh, oh, those Marines all clumped up over there in that alley. Not a good trade for Jagchi as he needs to retreat right now, and Solar is on the move. 
He's lacking Banelings, however. He doesn't have quite enough of them to warrant an, an attack. So he's building up slowly, biding his time, getting the infestation bit up. His 2-2 upgrades are just about to finish, so he'll be ahead uh, ahead of Jagchi in that regard. And he's going to start trading very cost-effectively versus the Marines. As long as uh, all of his Banelings do not blow up on a single Widow Mine, which uh, just now happened almost. And he's going to be in a nice shape. Good splitting here by Jagchi as he's taking out the Banelings, but here more of them are coming in. And there's just not enough Marines, but still a very cost-effective trade for Jagchi, I'd say. Resources lost tab showing seven and a half thousand for Zerg player and 5.7k for the Terran. Jagchi still holding on to his three bases, but Solar actually taking a fifth base at the appointed time uh, we discussed earlier. And he's been constantly expanding towards his opponent. His creep is all the way across the map on this side. Which is not very good for Jagchi as another surround comes in. And this fight is going to go a lot better for uh, for Solar than it did before. But no, he refuses to engage head on once more. His mutilus count is very healthy. So he will be able to snipe Widow Mines, harass, pick off medevacs. Have you noticed that there wasn't a single drop? going uh, going on in this game versus Solar. I mean, Jagchi just did not have room to drop. Oh, he's going to get the Engineering Bay with the plus three armor. Uh, that's not very, fo very, uh, very fortunate there for Jagchi, but he may keep it alive. The SCVs will start to go down. So a couple of kills over here. And the Mutals will be able to clean up those Marines, so that engineering base still going down. Nice pickup there for Solar, but uh, I don't know if he's not sacrificing these Mutalists needlessly at this point. Still, they've been very cost-effective. In the meantime, Jagchi moving forward once more, sprinting up the hill to take out the creep. Drop in the main base. Denied, I think by the forces of Solar. Here come the Banelings. Good splitting there by Jagchi having the presence of mind as he's pushing through the center of the map in the in the meantime. And uh, now Solar is going to focus on this engagement and not on the defense in his main base. Whoa! A horde of Banelings moving forward. And uh, this time the Widow Mine detonations were not in favor of Jagchi as before. So good fight there taken by Solar. Jagchi standing strong and moving forward on the map, but still, with that economy of Solars, I think it's only a matter of time before he can break Jagchi. Let's see. Jagchi's upgrades not doing that hot, but uh, considering that Solar did not even start his, Jagchi's going to gain the upper hand shortly. How many banings do we have out on the field? 34 and 12 Mutalisks. The Muta count is not doing that hot suddenly, and uh, this is what I've said before. I think that... Oh! Medivac! Free Medivac! I'm taking that! Nice one. This is what I said before. I uh, thought that Solar was sacrificing those Mutalisks a little bit needlessly, and looks like he was. It's going to be tough engaging versus these Widow Mines up all those ramps. Uh, not enough space for Solar to maneuver in, but this was a nice exchange for him, actually. Driving Jagchi all the way to the high ground as the Mutalisks fly back into the main base to harass. And Jagchi will need to pull back because this demands his attention right now. Nine more SCVs have gone down, which is not a lot, but still a nice pick off there for Solar. And he's probably going to be taking an, an, an additional base. I, I wouldn't mind at this point him taking the gold. He can do it. It's uh, completely fine. Those Mutalisks trying to buy some time for Solar, but they've become cornered right now and they can't very comfortably fall away. But here comes Solar trying to pick off this small pocket of army units and he will be successful. Nice pickup there. Hot pickup saving the Thor. And here we go. Again, Jagchi positioning himself on the ramp as Solar is marching forward, but he lost all of his Overseers, I think. So the one. So the so the mines are invisible, excuse me. The best he can hope for is knocking out this base, but will it be to any avail to him? I mean, this has been largely mined out already. 
So he did get those SCVs, however, and Jakchi is down to 18 SCVs only. And Solar, despite trading very well, oh, I don't know, can he do this? There are Widow Mines over here, still that Thor is staying alive. Oh, huge numbers of links just died, and without Banelings, I don't think that Solar can continue this attack over here. He'll have to pull back and regroup. He takes an additional base down here. If we take a look at the army supply, 80 army supply to Solar and 36 to Jagchi. Looks like Jagchi is on the back foot. Solar also... Oh, 19 more Banelings, so he is going to continue this attack. Just has to be careful of the Widow Mines. Uh, his Overseers are constantly lagging behind his ground units and behind the Mutalisks, which is not really that good. And here we go again. That Widow Mine, though, no, it's going to get the hit and Jack GG, so 1 1 apiece. Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the cast, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. I'll see you in game number three.